Good afternoon, everybody. This is our 3 o'clock update. This is our mic check. If you can see us, if you can hear us, give us a thumbs up so we'll know everything is working properly. We will begin at 3. Good afternoon, everyone. Hope everyone's having a, a good day today. Real humid and hot out there, and might have some uh, rain coming in this evening, some storms possibly. I don't know. Hopefully, they'll it'll cool up, cool down a little bit. We won't be so bad. But um, I start off with the uh, our announcements, and I just got back a little while ago from over to high school. We had a, uh, a little special graduation uh, uh, ceremony over there for uh, some of our young men that have, have uh, that are going right into the uh, armed forces. Uh, right out of uh, high school and uh, there was, um, it was a special special event it was uh, actually kind of organized by uh, Mr. Farney the principal and uh, Dr. Harris uh, and uh, it was really a good a good event we had our um, our post uh, uh, people down there from our uh, 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 the military post here and uh, they did a really good job they did the flag folding uh, ceremony uh, it was really, uh, you know, very special. And then they did the 21 gun salute outside afterwards. So it was really, uh, really special. And Evan, uh, they were there. They they were streaming it, and that, they, he's going to start running it, I think, tomorrow. So you know, if you missed that, you know, be sure to go, to watch that because it's a special event. Um, the uh, I want to mention uh, uh, the uh, Cloudland Canyon. I always say something about that because it's a big deal, especially if you live on the mountain. Seems like it's going pretty smooth, uh, you know, uh, on the weekends. But uh, you know, they've got the DNR that's really been helping them there. The enforcement people. They are enforcing 150 cars. Not sure how long that's going to go. Uh, well, they're going to keep maintaining the 150 cars for another few weeks, or until after the governor uh, releases all of his uh, rules and regulations. But uh, but so far in the last few weekends, it seems to it seems to be working. Uh, the um, Carrie's going to get up and give you a little bit of an update here on the voting outside. Uh, please don't forget that. You know, she'll give you the schedule uh, of uh, between now and Tuesday. Of course, Tuesday is a big day, but you still have time to vote and also to get your early uh, your ballots in because we do have the drop box on the outside, so you don't even have to come in. You know, if you've already uh, filled it out and all, uh, seal the envelope, go by 24 hours a day. You can drop it down out there. They do empty those twice a day. We are going to have our uh, com uh, commission meeting tonight. Uh, this it'll, it'll, our work session will start at six, and then we'll go right into our, our regular meeting. Um, uh, Evan, um, he'll be they'll be there. They will stream. It'll be streamed live, and also uh, Carrie will have it there. So uh, we'll have limited uh, space there because of the COVID nineteen. You know, this, uh, we're six foot apart and all that. We're trying to go right by the rules. Uh, and uh, you can watch this live, uh, you know, and if you're right from seat from home, or if you want to come down, come down, and we'll try to seat you. You know, but when when it gets full, you know, we'll have to, I guess, stand out in the hall. I don't know. Um, we've not. Uh, a lot of the uh, commissions in the state are doing uh, actually uh, doing uh, a uh, internet meeting, uh, you know, through Zoom or whatever. Uh, we have that option under an emergency, you know, but we we don't feel like we need to do that. I mean, we're. Uh, you know we're small, small county, and so. Uh, but um, it started. It'll start tonight at six, and uh, like I said, we'll go right into the meeting after the six o'clock, uh, the uh, work session. Um, Danvers Road is still closed. Going to be closed till June the first, July till July the fifteenth. I'll throw that in there. 
I know we've said that several times, but there's still some people that don't know it until they pull up there. Uh, I want to mention again today, yesterday we got really good news uh, from our nursing home. We've been kind of holding our breath. I know they have too, and a lot of the families. Uh, but they uh, all came back, all the patients, uh, all, all the residents, I'm sorry, and, and the staff, and they're all negative. So there's not uh, there's, uh, COVID-19 right now does not exist in the nursing home as of yesterday. So that is really great, great news. Um, we have opened our ballpark our parks up, uh, all the ball fields. Uh, they're, they're working on the, uh, the uh, dugouts and all now from all the storm damage, trying to get that, uh, that finished up and get it back. Uh, but you, uh, you know, you can go down. We've got the tennis court open, uh, basketball court, pickleball, and um, also, uh, you know, the walking track. Of course, it's, uh, it's open also. And uh, so just go out, you know, and enjoy yourself. But we do ask you, uh, we'll be posting signs down there. I think they may have got them up today, but uh, to, you know, really try to go strictly by the rules as far as, uh, you know, the uh, natural distancing and, and the groups. I think now we're 25, you know, but even even the group of 25, you know, use common sense because, you know, this uh, this thing's not going away. You know, COVID-19 is still here in the county, as you'll see by my report here of numbers. You know, it, it, we we we're fortunate we've not really went up drastically, drastically. But we do, you know, we have every day. It seems like it's been going up. Um, the uh, testing downstairs, the health department mentioned that every day, but we do have a change in that. Uh, we got notified just a little while ago that uh, they're uh, they're not going to do the Saturdays anymore. Uh, there was. Uh, very, very little, uh, very few people that actually took advantage of that on Saturdays, which surprised me kind of. But, uh, but they're gonna they're gonna cut that uh, from now on. It'll be just it'll be uh, you know Monday through Thursday, uh, one to four, and then Friday nine to one. And so that's that's downstairs. That's the swab test, free, real real quick. You can get in a line, or usually there's not a line. Just pull in. Um, they'll fill a, you'll fill a little form out there. It, uh, and you go right on through. Don't you don't have to get out of your car. Like I said, it don't cost anything at all. Uh, blood, the blood draw still over at Lawson Medical. Uh, mentioned that um, her hours of operation is a little different. Different. Uh, the, she's Monday through Thursday. She opens at five in the evening till nine. So that's that's in the evening for the evening traffic. Saturday and Sunday, there, she's there from eight till six. And so that's pretty much all day. So you know, one way or the other, you know, if you if you want to get tested, there's no reason that you can't get tested here in Dade County and not have to go anywhere besides there. Um, the Walker County uh, uh, Health Department now, from what I understand, they're going to still do that on Saturdays. So if you really just have to go on Saturdays as far as the swab test, and it's free over there, but it'll be at, their, at the Walker County uh, Health Department. And I know you probably need to post that address. I'm not sure what that address is over there because it's not going to be at the uh, Civic Center. It's that, at the Department of Public Health. Depart Department of Public Health, no. yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, is this number here, the department, this is 375? It is. Okay, I'll give you this number here. You can call in case you get up Saturday morning, you want to go to drive across the mountain and, and do that. It's 706-375-7705, and uh, that's for the Walker County uh, test side over there. And uh, also the Ready Clinic there at Walmart, they're still doing the blood draws also. And uh, I think I know they're open at least five days a week there. So uh, let me see and make and sure. you do not have to call ahead? No, you don't, no. No, you don't have to call ahead uh, there at all, you know. Um, and uh, I do want to mention, too, uh, when you said that, it reminded me, because we had a call this morning, Robert did, uh, a lady out here, but uh, on the driver's license, they're back on schedule, you know, the driver's license people are, but they're still limiting limiting s slots because of just like I was talking about our meeting, this COVID-19, we're under a whole set of uh, different guidelines. And, and they they request you to go on, and, and Carrie will have this online, so what do you got? But... Uh, to go online to to their website and go ahead and fill your form out. You know, like if you're going to renew your license and all, it's a pretty simple form. And then when you when you do that, uh, that'll give you a slot. You know, they're only they're only going to do so many slots a day. Uh, you know, and so uh, try to do that before you go. Now they did did say they they would do their best to accommodate people that just walk in. But there's a chance, you know, if they've got 10 or 15 people out there, you know, you may you may have to wait until a Monday after next before you do it. So um, it's just uh, be sure to do that. You know, if you don't have a computer, you know, or don't don't know how to really do that, go to the library over there, and Marshanna will help you. She'll help you uh, any way she can. You know, because they have several uh, units set up over there. So uh, just remember that before you just take a chance and go down. You know, uh, let me move into our numbers. Uh, the uh, total Georgia cases. I'll start with that. I, sometimes I do that, and sometimes I don't. But totally in Georgia. 
Right now, we have 48,894 confirmed cases in the state of Georgia, and that's up from 48,207 as of yesterday. And um, all together, as of today, there's been 574,400 tests that's been administered. And I think part of those could be the antibody, but I, m the majority of them will be swabs, I would say. Um, in Dade County, we went from 37 to 39 from yesterday. We still have 11 antibody tests there that uh, we can take away from that. And I would say well over half of these people out of that 39, if not a little more, uh, they're already back. They're back on the road, back working. Uh, so uh, all in all, you know, that's not a tremendous number, but the number keeps going up. So that's what you got to look at. I mean, really. Um, the uh, Walker County, uh, they went from 162 to 171. They have 44 antibody tests that's, uh, that can be taken away from that. Hattusa County, they went from 142 to 145. Uh, Chattooga County, they stayed the same. Whitfield County, they went from 391 to 408. Uh, Gordon County, 166 to 170. Uh, Floyd County, they went from 274 to 281. Bartow County, 485 yesterday, and they went up to 496. And there's still uh, 1,000. 338 unknown uh, cases. Uh, in other words, it hasn't been actually addressed to the counties or tied to. So um, that could be any, that could be us, it could be uh, in the counties in the state of Georgia. Total deaths in the state, we've had 2,123. That's up from 2,102 yesterday. Um, in Tennessee, and as you've, uh, if you've heard me say this before, and Tennessee's a little different because they do give us recovered cases, which is really good to compare the numbers. Uh, in Hamilton County, uh, they went from 910 to 935. They have 317 out of that 935 that have recovered, that they that that's actually truly recovered. And I'm sure that you know probably there's more than that, possibly that uh, that was were tested with antibody that probably could be taken away from that. But that's we don't have those those numbers. They've also had 16 deceased. Um, Marion County, they stayed the same at 42. Uh, they have 31 recovered with one deceased. Grundy County, they stayed the same at 31. They have 27 recovered uh, with one deceased. Sequatchie County, uh, they stayed the same at 19, and they have 13 recovered. Uh, Medge County, they stayed the same at 27, and uh, they have 21 recoveries there. Bradley County, they have 157 yesterday, and they're 161 today. They have 103 people that's recovered there in, in Bradley County with one deceased. Uh, totally in Tennessee, they have uh, they've had 381 deaths. That's up from 380. I'm sorry, 388 deaths. That's up from 381 yesterday. Uh, and as I said, that's some comparative uh, comparative to Georgia. Uh, we've had 2,123 deaths. Um, in Alabama, moved down to uh, Jackson County bordering county here they stayed the same at 83 DeKalb County uh, they did stay the same at, at uh, 257 quite a, quite a difference in Jackson and DeKalb County you know but um, total uh, in Alabama uh, total confirmed cases has been 18,766 total confirmed uh, that's from from the beginning till now and that's up from 18,554 as of yesterday uh, so uh, you know the numbers do keep, you know, creeping up, changing. Uh, don't know when it's going to, you know, maybe we'll start declining or just leveling off because we'll never really, from what I understand, unless they 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 re actually redo the math and all on this, you know, they're never going to take them away. So we're not, you know, the only time we see any downward trend is is where they made a mistake maybe with an address and they they changed it from one county to the other. So as far as you know, seeing the numbers just start drastically going down, these numbers stay the same. But when we know we're really uh, really getting there is when the, you know, we actually start not having any confirmed. Uh, so anyway, just uh, just bear with uh, bear with us on this. And uh, like I said, we're going to give you these reports uh, daily, five days a week, and until the uh, what was the date? The twelfth. Yes, the twelfth. Till June the twelfth. That'll be uh, uh, the the week of June the twelfth, and that's when the governor will relieve the uh, stay at home uh, order, you know, for our elderly and all. And then after that, we'll, we'll start coming in on Thursday uh, at 3 o'clock and start giving you uh, the updates uh, from, you know, from not only the COVID-19 updates, but actually county updates. The only reason that we would change that uh, is if anything critically happened in the county that you need to know about, and we can come on in a matter of minutes and you know, we'll let people know. 
Carrie's going to come in here now, and she's going to give us an update uh, as far as our elections and give you a little, uh, little news from there and just take it over. We just wanted to remind you that um, today and tomorrow are the last days to early vote. Early voting does end tomorrow. That's Friday. It ends at 2 o'clock. So make sure to get out and vote if you want to early vote. Also, if you have an absentee ballot, you need to go ahead and send that in so that we receive that um, by 7 o'clock on Tuesday the 9th. So we do have to have that. If you would rather bring it by, we do have a drop box for absentee ballots that you can put it in in front of the administrative office. So remember also on June 9th, voters must vote in the precinct in which they are registered. Polls will be open from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. And this is really, really important. If you requested an absentee ballot but chose, uh, choose to vote in person instead, you must surrender the absentee ballot at the time you vote in person. Uh, picture ID must be presented at the precinct polling place. And remember, please don't wear clothing items. <laughs> that means uh, caps, shirts, etc., with a candidate's name or slogan. Those can't be worn within 150 feet of a polling place. Campaigning is not allowed within 150 feet of a polling place. Um, and the next thing that I wanted to talk to you about is the census. We're going to talk, uh, Marshanna Sharp is going to talk about this more this evening in the commission meeting, um, but we are currently at 48.6% in Dade County for the census, the 2020 census. If you have not yet filled that out, go online at www.2020census.gov to fill out your census. For the state of the Georgia, the average is 60%. So we're at 48.6%. And just to help you understand what that means numerically, the population estimate for Dade County at, in July of 2019 by the U.S. Census Bureau is, was 16,166 people. So if only 48.6% of the people have filled out their um, census information either by mailing it in or filling it out online or calling the number, um, that means that we've only had about 7,000 or so people fill that out. That's extremely low, and it's extremely important that we get accurate numbers here in Dade County because um, things like emergency care, road work, um, all of that is tied to our census numbers. Another thing that's tied to census numbers is when businesses look to come here to Dade County, if we don't have an adequate population and a workforce, they're not going to consider us the same way. So please fill out your census. Encourage other people to fill out their census. Talk to your neighbors, your parents, your children. Make sure that you are being counted. We have put the links um, to the census website in the comments below. Remember, you can go to www.2020census.gov. Uh, we have also put information about the elections in the comments below. If you have any questions for elections, you can give them a call at 706-657-8170. Most of the information is on our website, including um, information for testing. So check that out on our homepage of our website at dadecounty-ga.gov. If you'll scroll about halfway down the page, you'll see uh, some tabs, and one of them is COVID information. The second one, I believe, is elections, and the third one is what's open and what's not. That has your information to the Department of Driver Services, which we've also put a link for in the comments. So we do appreciate you guys watching us. Remember to get out and vote. Early voting ends tomorrow at 2. Thanks. Okay. Thank you, Carrie. That, that kind of winds it up today, but uh, uh, talking about the voting, regardless of, of who you vote for, or whatever, please get out and try and, and vote between now and Tuesday. Uh, so it's, uh, it's one of the most important things really you can do as a, as a citizen, you know, and, and as a taxpayer. So uh, keep that in mind. But we'll be back tomorrow at 3 o'clock. And uh, if you got any questions, uh, as always, you can call my cell number, 667-8999. Or you can get online there. You know, Carrie is real easy to get a hold of. Uh, and any questions, just call us. Or anything that, you know, you might the numbers you might have missed today, I guarantee you she's got it on her website. So we'll see you tomorrow at 3 o'clock. Thank you.